here we are. It is Easter Monday here in the UK and I am out on a ride. I have got a course with work booked and I'm just off to work now on my day off or on our uh, mandatory day off really. Um, celebrating Easter so I'm in going to pick a car up for said course. So slightly different route in today a little bit cloudy a little bit windy but we are off to work my ass up at 11% climb just down that way and then we're ready to start the main climb off into Wendover Woods and then we'll whittle my way off to work so just having a quick pit stop and checking my rear tyre um, hopefully this follows on from the previous video and had a puncture in the rear tyre so the tubeless sealant has done its work so fingers crossed with that um, so we'll see how it goes but yeah, it's inflated at the minute, so fingers crossed, I'm gonna head down that way now and uh, see how we get on, so let's do it. Right, so we've just had a little pit stop off at the end of Wendover Woods. Um, what an eventful ride up that was. My hand is covered in sealant, we've had another problem. Really, really lays a loose stone and sort of shingle everywhere, so I think we've picked up yet more punctures. I'll show you the bike frame in a minute, it's absolutely caked in sealant. Um, and the bike tried to kill me halfway up the uh, little famous climb into Wendover Woods as well. So it literally jammed my chain and sort of doubled back on itself and then chucked it into the chain and nearly threw me off. So luckily I unclipped in time and got off. But yeah, really interesting. So let's look at the frame. So here we are. Sealant absolutely everywhere and built up in the derailleur, derailleur hanger as well there. So yeah. Thank God we've got sealant in there and it's still pumped up, which is great. So I haven't got much further to go and then we're at work anyway. So uh, I think it's best that we uh, get this ride finished sooner rather than later. So I absolutely love this bit down here. This is such a fast route. It's already minus two. Just no pedal assist at all. Just spinning at 14.8 and climbing 15 mile an hour. So if you really put the hammer down, get on the drop so we can get 30. So. Let's see if I can achieve it and do it. So here we are, another familiar summer lunch route. So this is uh, the grounds of Champneys. So just having a quick blitz through here. Did wonder if the gate would be open, but I guess Easter, maybe people are still getting treatments and what have you, spa days. So we're gonna quickly spin through here and then have a little bit of a speed run down uh, Hamblin's Lane. I think it's called and it is fast through there so see if I can beat a time and then we're at work Right, so been to work, picked up a rather um, mediocre car for the course. That's a bit of a shame, but oh well. Um, so a bit of a ride report. Uh, we haven't done very well on this ride, really. Um, so we had the issue with the tubeless problem um, a couple of days ago. Thought it had kind of sealed and repaired itself. Clearly it hasn't. 
Um, so yeah, that sucks. Um, and it's literally sprayed all over the, the tubing again, um, all over underneath my saddle, all over my bag. And worse, but not the least, we've even, I have lost my light. I, I must have hit a bump or a pothole and it's ejected itself from my rear bag there, which is an absolute pain in the bloody ass. Um, it wasn't the most expensive one. It was just a cheap one from uh, Amazon because I lost, uh, the, the, actually the, I did have a um, pretty decent one and that broke actually, so obviously it wasn't that decent, I guess. So luckily it was only a cheap one, but still it's a pain. I've got to buy another one now. Um, I do like to be seen on the road and I do like to have a flashing rear light. So that is going to have to be another purchase. Um, and all the sealant, I think it is a, a little bit of spray under the saddle. But yeah, it, it, it has it has indeed sprayed everywhere. So I think the Schwabbles, the Pro Ones, they are the original version and they've done well. So I think we're gonna have to bin them off now and get on them lovely GP5000 STRs. So quite excited about that. So yet again, it's gonna be another clean and then sort the wheels out. So hope you have a good, uh, good rest of the day, guys. And hope you enjoyed your Easter break away. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.